Hey y'all, today we're going to be making this viral TikTok spaghetti. Now I have been seeing this stuff everywhere. Everywhere. You hear me? Facebook, TikTok, whatever. But I know it's the viral TikTok spaghetti. So I'm going to make it for y'all. So go ahead and get your oven preheated to 350. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to brown up a pound of ground beef. And then I threw a little bit of onion in there. If I'd have had some seasoned blend, I'd have thrown that in there. But I just had a little bit of onion. So I just put it over in there. So you're going to want to cook your meat and your onions until they're nice and browned and your onions are soft and then drain the grease off. Then you're going to add one jar of whatever your favorite spaghetti sauce is or whatever you have on hand, even if it ain't your favorite, whatever, whatever you want to use y'all. If you want to make it homemade, you most certainly can do that if you want to. I wanted to make this a very easy recipe. So I did not make anything homemade. Everything's coming out of a jar for this one. But again, do you, you know, whatever way you want to do it. So I just got that good and mixed up, turned it down on low, popped the lid on it. We're going to let that simmer while we get everything else done. So you're going to go ahead, get you some water boiling, and we're going to boil one pack of spaghetti noodles. Now, I would imagine you can use any kind of noodles in this. So if you're sitting at home and you have everything except a spaghetti noodle, but you got you some rotini in the, in the pantry, use your rotini. It'll turn out the same. It'll be fine. Um, but I always break my spaghetti in half. I know some people don't, you know, maybe that's, maybe that's another bone of contention for some people, but that's what I do. It makes it easier to handle. So you do you. Okay. So y'all look at this pan. This is a nine by 13 pan and it is heavy, heavy. Guess where I found it? At the thrift store. I was so excited. Now don't worry. I came home, put it through the heat of the dishwasher. Cause you know, who knows who'd have been touching on it in the thrift store, but if you're looking for some, uh, you know, some dishes, honey, hit up your thrift store. There's a whole lot of good stuff up in there. So anyway, I was proud of it. So I just want to share that with y'all. <laughs> I'm cheap, y'all. But anyway, go ahead. You're going to spray your 9 by 13 pan. And then you're going to, after you've cooked your spaghetti noodles and drained them or whatever noodles you chose to use, you're just going to go ahead and put that right down in the bottom of your 9 by 13 pan. Then we're going to take one jar of your favorite alfredo sauce again if you want to make alfredo sauce homemade you most certainly can but just to fyi i had never used this brand and this is really really good y'all because there are some jarred alfredo sauce that i do not care for i will tell you you know there are just some out there so just you know use what you want to but that brand is really good if you do want to go the route of a jar of alfredo sauce so you're just going to mix that in with your noodles real good. Just get them good and coated, you know, so you have Alfredo on all your noodles. Then we're going to take our spaghetti sauce, our ground meat mixture, and we're just going to put that right over the top. And you're just going to layer it on there. You're not going to mix this in or anything. Almost like if you were doing a lasagna, you're just going to put the meat mixture layer right on top. And then you're just going to spread it out and get it nice and even. And as far as seasonings, y'all... I didn't add much seasoning to this, you know, aside from just a tiny bit of the stuff I normally use, you know, like garlic, onion, whatever. But I didn't add a whole bunch because you have the jar of spaghetti sauce that's, you know, got seasonings in it. Then you got your Alfredo sauce. And then we're going to put cheese on here. And I do add Parmesan to this. And Parmesan cheese can be quite salty. So just be very careful when you do, if you decide to, you know, put a bunch of seasoning in this and don't over salt it, you know, if you're going to add Parmesan cheese and stuff to it. So just be careful with that. So I just added on a little layer of some, you know, just the shredded Parmesan right there out of a the little container and you can use whatever you want. You can use the, um, oh shoot, what's it called? You know, the kind that's in the, like the powdery kind that's, you know, that you put on like spaghetti normally or whatever you can use that you can use whatever kind you want if you decide to go the parmesan route now i did see you know people use different kinds of stuff they use cheddar or mixed mixed uh shredded cheese like the mexican blend and stuff use whatever you have and i'm sure it will be fine but i thought this is kind of you know lasagna like to me so i thought you know i'm gonna use mozzarella and parmesan so that's what i went with 
And I just put, like I said, a little thin layer of the Parmesan on there. And then I put, you know, you know me, just a tiny little layer. Just a tiny little layer of mozzarella, y'all. You don't need much. You know, just cover every darn thing. You can't have too much cheese, though, right? So once you get your cheese on here, you do not need to cover it. You're going to pop this in the oven for 30 minutes. And, or 20, 20, 30 minutes, really all you're doing is melting your cheese. You don't want to get your cheese good and melted and brown. That's all you're doing because everything else is already cooked. So that's all there is to this, y'all. It was a very simple recipe, but I wanted to make it because I wanted to try it out. You know, and I'm doing it so y'all won't have to. I, mean, I don't want y'all to be making no bad recipes. <laughs> But anyway, this is it, y'all. It's really, really good. You know, you're, you've got that al Alfredo sauce on your noodles, so that makes them kind of creamy. And then you're like your spaghetti sauce kind of soaks down into the noodles as it cooks. Y'all, this was a winner. They knocked it out of the park with this one. Good to you, TikTok. <laughs> Whoever came up with this one, because it was good. My son came over and took half the pan home with him, so there you go. But anyway, that's it, y'all. Make sure you try this one, and I'll pop y'all another video over here, and I will catch y'all on the next one. Bye, y'all.